how did I get started in public health? Well, um, it was an accident, and uh, I decided that I wanted to go into international health, and I wanted to go oh, to far-off lands and talk to John Hume, and he said, well, you've got to learn something about public health first, so get yourself a residency in public health, and uh, then come take an MPH, and that was in uh, 1954. And Sue? Well, I was married to public health by that time. I mean, this was, I got into the field 10 years after Tim when I had finished raising, well, not finished raising the children, but they were all in school at that point. Tim came home one day and I was out in the garden. He said, you may be getting the weeds out of the garden, but you've got weeds growing in your brain. And I think he figured that I could do things that were more useful for humanity. And at any rate, that night I heard about a job in computer programming with Abe Lilienfeld, who was head of the Department of Chronic Diseases. And he said, you know, go take a course. There's one starting tomorrow at the school. So I took the course in computer programming and started working for Abe and getting involved in the uh, in public health research. It's neat to have someone you can brainstorm with over a problem, either a research problem or a kind of political problem, like how am I going to get so-and-so to agree to do such and such, but where we both know the people involved, the problems involved, uh, and have some idea for pol potential solutions. I mean, it means we get a lot of work done going back and forth in the car so that we're greatly extending our uh, opportunities for thinking about, about whatever we're working on. You know, this <coughs> one of the things about this uh, session has made us appreciate how much the chance to work together in the same institution has meant to us. And I'm grateful to the leaders who avoided setting a policy about having two family members in the same organization. It's very helpful to have someone that you can try out an idea on. Sue mentioned jokes, and I would occasionally say, uh, do you think I can tell a joke about the talking dog from West Texas? And Sue will say, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> too many people have heard that too many times.